Hello folks, I'm Carol here from Data Doosers and today we're going to review something that we did um, two months ago. We created this dashboard to track all the COVID-19 metrics. It's a very comprehensive dashboard covering a lot of functionalities that you can do with QuickSight. So I strongly recommend you to take a look at that video if you're interested in learning uh, how to work with QuickSight. We're doing this specific video because one of our viewers, Christina Dabriel, thank you very much, Christina, for your feedback. She asked a very valid question. Among all the features that we implemented, we decided to have this drop down menu here to select the, the metric that we want to display on the visuals below in these three visuals. Meaning that, for example, if we wanted to see the cases, uh, we, we have to select it here. But if we want to select the deaths instead of the cases, then just by switching this metric here, then everything is going to recalculate by the metric and so on with all the other options. So that's the idea and that works fine. But her question is, okay, how can we see the metric that I am visualizing here? Meaning that, for example, if you look at the at the titles of the visuals, we have metric to display by country, metric to display by continent country, and metric to display trend. As well as in the tooltips, we have metric to display the value, metric to display the value, and that's not ideal because, for example, if you're down here, well, metric to display which metric was, then you have to scroll the way to the top and remember, and that is not wrong but it's not ideal we can improve this so we're going to change dynamically the title of the visuals and the name in the tooltips to the metric that is selected here so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to save this dashboard as a new analysis i'm just going to name it fix and that is going to bring us to our analysis environment and here let's try to fix the, the titles first which is the, the easiest part, right? If we select one of our visuals, then if we come here to, to these settings, we have the title, metric to display by country, which is what is being shown there. This is fixed, it, this is not going to change, but we can very easily do that because instead of metric to display, we can add in these three dots here, we can add the parameter that we have to hold the, the values in the drop down. So and in this case is metric selection. And now you see that this is going to update. So we, we, we're going to change uh, total death, for example. And now we see the total death. And total death per million, and that is going to change. So we can do the same for each one of, of the visuals just need to replace metric to display by the metric selection parameter and it's going to be copying the title automatically. So now I know what I'm looking at in the visual at every moment. Now let's fix the tooltips. Let's try to put the metric name here in the tooltip as well. And that's a little bit more complicated because I cannot add a parameter to my tooltip but we can create a calculator field to, to do that. So let's add a new calculator field and let's name it uh, metric tooltip. And this calculator field is going to be very simple. It's just going to be equal to my metric selection. That's, that's it. It's going to hold the value that I have in my parameter at any point. And this is exactly what, what I want and what I need. So now in the tooltip, I'm going to use that calculated field. Let's come here to the map. As you can see, it says country and metric to display right now. And in, if we go to edit the tooltip, so if I hover over, I can see that I, uh, what I'm looking at in this case is the country and metric to display. And I also have minus 97 degrees west, and that is the longitude. I need to hide that because I really don't care about that, it's, it's useless to me. But now let's add the metric name here as well. Let's add a field, the field that I created. 
this one, metric tooltip. The label I'm going to type, actually I'm not going to type any label, or let's do it just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to put label there. So in the display value I'm going to choose unique value. Unique because in this visual I'm aggregating by country and by metric to display. This is only one, this is a one-to-one -one relationship, so in this case I want a unique value. Also I don't care about counts because what I want to display is a dimension, not a metric. So unique value in this case, and you have this option for unique values saying that, well, if we have scenarios where it's not a unique value, where we have multiple options for that field, then it's going to show us a star. But this is not going to happen because we only have a one-to-one -one relationship in this case. So if we save this, now if we hover over, you see that now it says label total deaths per million. That's why I uh, wrote down the label so you see what happened. So I'm going to edit that. And instead of label, I'm just going to write metric. I'm going to save it. And now it's better. Now I know that my metric is total deaths per million. I'm going to move this one a step up. Okay, better, the country, the metric. And in the metric to display, I'm going to change the label of that one. To say value. Save it. And now you see your country, United States. The metric is total deaths per million and the value is 1,501. And if I change this to total cases, for example, then it's going to pick up here, country United States, metric total cases, and the value 31 million plus. And I'm not going to do the same uh, for the others, uh, but the process is exactly the same. So if you want, go ahead and do the changes to the tooltip, to these two visuals down here, and that's it. Hopefully this answered the question that Christina had. That may be the question for other viewers as well. If that was the case, please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you find our content useful, please subscribe so that you know every time we publish new content. I hope that this change can make your dashboards uh, easy to read, adding more value to the job that you already do. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you around. Thank you.